It ain't going to happen. It's got to come from the people. And so what I am hoping to do is help energize and mobilize a grassroots movement. The answer will not come from Washington. It will come only from the men and women across this country, from men and women, from people of faith, from lovers of liberty, from people who respect the Constitution. It will only come as it has come at every other time of challenge in this country, when the American people stand together and say we will get back to the principles that have made this country great. All right, that was Senator Ted Cruz from earlier today at Liberty University. Now, as rumors of his candidacy began to surface, well, the left, predictably, jumped on the chance to begin criticizing Senator Cruz for his qualifications as a leader to the way and his eligibility as a U.S. citizen and much more. He's here for the entire hour tonight. Um, here's one thing I can guarantee, and I'm... And I'm I mentioned earlier some of your Republican critics. You know they're all Jerry Brown over the weekend. You know all the things people have said. One thing I can guarantee you, whoever is the Republican nominee is going to be labeled as racist, sexist, hates, wants to kill grandma, hates children, and uh, you know the list of things. How, forgetting all these people, Jerry Brown, I don't think that bothers you, or John McCain calling you a wacko bird, but how do you deal with the Clinton machine and the predictable... Yeah. Yeah. I guess, narrative that is advanced every election cycle against any Republican or conservative. How do you handle that? Well, look, you're, you're right. The, the, the media historically paints two caricatures of Republicans. We're either stupid or evil. So in the or media, both. or both, right. in the media's telling Reagan was stupid, George W. Bush was stupid, Dan Quayle was stupid, Nixon was evil, Dick Cheney was evil. By the way, stupid is better. If you're picking one or the other, stupid is much better. Better than evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I guess I take it as, as a little bit of a backhanded compliment that, that the media has to some extent invented a third caricature for me, uh, which is crazy. Okay, because you're smart. You went to Harvard and Princeton, or Harvard and, yeah. And, and, well, okay. and, and so they, they do everything they can to paint me as a wild-eyed lunatic with dynamite strapped around my chest. Yeah. Well, it's, you know who says nice things about you? Um, Alan Dershowitz. Austin Goolsby said you were probably his most formidable, you know, debater that he ever had to go up against. Well, so you have this history. So, but you've got this, we hear it's a coronation. Probably Hillary Clinton is going to be your opponent if you win this primary. They have a machine. Mm -hmm. They have a war room. How, what do you think of Hillary and how do you deal with her campaign? Listen, I think the way you deal with the, with the war room and the media chatter is the same way Reagan did it. The media has always been a disaster. In 1980, they hated Reagan. They hate Republicans now. They hate conservatives even more. What Reagan did is he went over their head, and he went directly to the American people. You know, one of my favorite exchanges is a classic uh, press briefing at the White House where, where Reagan is there, and Sam Donaldson says, Mr. President, Mr. President. You have blamed the problems in this country and everybody else. You blame them on Tip O'Neill, on Democrats in the Congress. Mr. President, you're President of the United States. Don't you bear any of the responsibility for the problems in this country? And Reagan leaned forward with a twinkle in his eye, and he said, Well, Sam, yes. Yes, I do. I bear considerable responsibility because for many years, I was a Democrat. <laughs> and, and even Donaldson cracks up laughing. Yeah. That's how we do it. We go over the heads of the reporters, and it's easier now. We've got social media. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. We've got, God bless, Fox News. We've got the Internet. We've got the Drudge talk Report. Radio. We've got talk radio. Yeah. We have all of the tools. The media gatekeepers are hopeless, but we can go directly to the people with the truth. All right.